Okay, so today uh, we talked a little bit about multiplying fractions and whole numbers. And uh, we tried to answer the question, how do you model that? Right? How do you model to show the product of a fraction and a whole number? The product is just multiplying, so we should know that. That's a good math term. So, um, I'm going to do number three on your homework. Number three says uh, two-fifths times five. Um, what could this also uh, say? It could say um, two-fifths of five, same thing. Um, it could also say, uh, let me erase that, uh, it could also say, and these are all going to give you the same answers, could also say two-fifth uh, five times, right? Two-fifth plus two-fifths, sorry, fifth, fifth, uh, two-fifths plus two-fifths. All going to give you the same answer. You're probably doing that and like, hey, I know what that answer is. Um, cool. Well, let's model it. So I took two-fifths times five and I modeled it. What does it mean? Well, it means two-fifths five times. What I did was, so what, what I did was I created um, five, we'll count them, one, two, three, four, five, five circles. And I split them into fifths. We can count one of the circles. They're all the same. One, two, three, four, five. And then the section says two-fifths. So what is two-fifths? Well, it's, uh, that means two of the fifths are colored in. So if I do this, it should look something like this all the way across the board. So two-fifths are colored in. And as we do that, we should be able to add it all up. And if we're looking at our model, um, we should be able to count these. So we can say, um, we could say, here's a fifth, and here's a fifth. That's two fifths plus two more. That's four fifths plus two more is six fifths plus two more is eight fifths, and plus two more is ten fifths. So really, two fifths times five equals 10 fifths, okay? So 10 fifths is the same as 10 divided by 5, because that's what a fraction is. This is a division sign. If we look at it like that, it makes sense. 10 divided by 5 is 2. We can also see that we can ask ourselves, how many times does 5 go into 10? It goes in 2 times. So we have a whole number of 2. So let me show you that visually. So I'm going to take, whoops, I'm going to take uh, this, I'm going to use uh, the pink. So say if I take this, this pink, and I p bring it over here. So these two pink, I'm going to bring in here. Okay, and then we're going to do a different color. And let's say orange. And we're going to take these, these two, and I'm going to bring it uh, over here. Right, so here's my two orange. So now what have we done? We've basically crossed out both this one and this one and we move them into here. This is what we're doing when we rename this to two. I just wanted to show you. And then the last one we'll, we'll take green. So this is going to be green instead and what this is going to move is one is going to go here for one-fifth. Remember we had two and one is going to go here. So what do we have left? Two, right? And that's where that renaming comes from. That's where we get the two. So here's one, here's two. And you have two is our answer. So going on, when we multiply whole number, the thing I'm going to show you, multiplying fractions and whole numbers, is that we have two-fifths times five. Now, how do we do that just with plain math? Well, very easily. We simply just look at five, five, and we say five is the same as five over one. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So in this case, 2 times 5, 2 times 5 is, if you said 10, awesome. And 5 times 1 is 5. And 10 over 5 is 2, which was our answer. So there's a bunch of ways that we could have gotten that, and I hope that helps you. Uh, good luck on the rest. You do not have to do the back of this page if you do not want to. It will be extra credit. Uh, I'll give you some bonus points if you do do the back. Um, so good luck with that.